designing the future. That's what Spanish architect Rosa Cerverda has been doing for the past four decades. Her work has taken her around the world and she has created beautiful, functional and sustainable buildings from India to Bolivia. Her creations also stand proudly in Chengdu, Hangzhou and Shanghai in China. Cerverda has a deep connection with Chinese culture and even designed the Chinese embassy buildings in Madrid. China has helped a lot myself to be the, the woman that I am now, the person that I am. I learned a lot from China and, and I my, admire part of uh, their culture and their philosophy and their way of being. For more than 20 years, Rosa has been working on a futuristic project called the Bionic Tower. We cannot pave the planet, she says, and this visionary vertical city could potentially house more than 100,000 people. This city of cities would be 300 stories and over 1,000 meters high, powered by wind turbines and solar panels. It would even have its own farm. Officials in both Shanghai and Hong Kong have expressed interest. While the Bionic Tower has yet to be built, it's a vertical vision for the future of sustainable housing on a mind-blowing scale. The Chinese embassy here in Madrid behind me stands as a testament to Rosa Cervera's talent. And while she's been designing physical structures for decades, she's also been building cultural bridges too. She is now the president of Catedra China, a Spanish think tank that promotes greater understanding between Spain, Europe and China. The main goal of Catalonia China is to bring both countries together and to get the Spanish people more friendly with the Chinese world, the Chinese culture. The hope is really to avoid prejudices and to meet the people. An affinity for Chinese culture and a vision for the future have sustained the remarkable work of Rosa Cervera. Her physical and cultural bridges are built to last. Ken Brown, CGTN, Madrid.